Jennifer Hoff. We're talking about the Evergreen Space Museum and Water Park in McMinnville. The two buildings owner is in financial trouble because of unpaid construction debt. So what happens to those buildings if they do go on the auction block? We sent our Tim Becker to find out. Evergreen's Wings and Waves Water Park and Aviation and Space Museums welcome more than 300,000 guests each year. All the buildings are owned by the Michael King Smith Foundation, but they're leased and they're run by another nonprofit under the direction of Ann Witzel. There's no question that no one wants this sheriff's sale to proceed, and I think the likelihood of it proceeding is, is very low. Witzel tells me she's confident that their landlord will find a way to pay the nearly $2 million it owes to the Hoffman Construction Company, who built both attractions. And they've been generous partners, um, but they do uh, have a lien on the building with the foundation and that's really what's going on right now. One of the questions people are asking is what will happen to the spruce goose? Well the answer to that I found out is nothing at all. The people who run the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum say this thing is here to stay. Spruce Goose uh, stays in the museum. Um, one, it's a real challenge to move it out. <laughs> the hulking, history-filled airplane, along with other aviation antiquities and exhibits from yesteryear, are all safely housed in the Aviation Museum, not a part of the foreclosure suit filed by Hoffman. Thereafter, the water park and space museum only, put up for collateral by the foundation, that now stands to lose both buildings if it can't settle its debt with the Company. What we're doing right now is looking at all kinds of options to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, but even if it did, we as tenants would continue operating the museum and the water park as it is now. Um, we're wa operating them profitably. Witzel says her museum group would simply have to lease the buildings from a new owner in the event of a sale. And to visitors, everything would stay the same. In McMinnville, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Now, another point to all this, if the owners can't come up with the money, the buildings will then be sold in a foreclosure auction on November 30th. We'll keep you updated.